Hello, Anteater fans. Michael O'Sullivan here with Ashley Hain, head coach of the UC Irvine women's volleyball team as we roll out the schedule releases. And coach, the schedule already posted on the website, but now we'll kind of tiptoe through the non-conference here and preview the upcoming 2016 season for you guys. Starting late August, and I know a big tournament right out of the gate at USC where you'll have Santa Clara, Marquette, and the Trojans all in that Baden Invitational, three tournament teams from a year ago. Yeah, uh, we're really looking forward to, uh, you know, not traveling very much to, you know, USC is a short drive and um, we have to sleep in our home, own bed so uh, the girls feel comfortable um, and I think we'll be in a position to compete right away with those teams and our goal is to um, compete every point and fight and battle and, and hopefully, you know, beat one, two, and three would be nice as well. Right. <laughs> and SC, a team that was ranked number one in the country for a good stretch last season, and then it doesn't get any easier in September, just a baptism by fire really for your Anteaters. Washington State, California, uh, one of those games at Long Beach against the Cougars, then you have the Golden Bears here at home, and that'll be a nice kind of marquee home matchup to kick off the season. Sure, and we're in the Brent Event Center, so it's always nice to be right. back. The girls like playing in that venue, um, and it's always nice to be at home and um, have some big teams um, you know, on your campus. So we're looking forward to that. Again, I think we can compete right away, and you know, the girls need to learn how to beat these more physical teams if we're going to make a push up through the ranks of you know programs uh, so you know it's something that we have to learn about ourselves and what we are capable of now and what we need to learn in the future and then a little later in september you're going to continue to stay pretty local with the usd invite but ucla and colorado there so from my count it's five pac 12 teams in this non-conference schedule and, and maybe just take us through this how you, how you schedule the non-conference slate obviously your team is going to really have to compete against some top quality opponents, but I know that's, that's what you need for the resume, wins like that. Right. I mean, anytime you beat a Pac-12 team, it's a great thing for our conference and also our right. team. Like I said, I think we can compete and we can learn how to beat teams like that, but you're going to have to play them to learn how to beat them. So, right. um, you know, it's a good experience for our young team and um, hopefully we'll have some upsets and um, learn about our, ourselves along the way. Go straight into conference now as we kind of look forward a little bit. The Big West, your inaugural season coaching here. A year ago, you guys finished in fifth place uh, in the Big West Conference. Got to expect Hawaii, Long Beach State, two of the powerhouses to be at the top. But maybe just your general outlook on this conference going into the 2016 campaign. Well, the whole goal of the preseason is to be well prepared for conference. And I think with the level of play we're going to have to maintain, during preseason, um, we'll be well prepared for conference. And I think, you know, based on how we competed last year without much preparation, uh, we definitely have a shot at, you know, everyone in our conference. And um, it's always competitive, and Hawaii and Long Beach are always tough to play, especially at, you know, away games at their place. So, um, but again, I think we're going to be in a position to compete with the best. And, um, you know, I can see us uh, with a few upsets. Yeah, Long Beach will be here early on in the conference season, and then you got Hawaii later in November. And, uh, you know, talk about your roster. A lot of fresh faces. We were talking before we started rolling here. Nine in total, completely new to the roster. A lot of freshmen. Uh, so it's a big turnover for this program, I know. It really is. It's um, two transfers um, in Haley DeSales and Brianna Montgomery, um, both having played in some big matches throughout their career and done well. Um, right. You know, to come in and play in the Big West, I think that's going to help us right away. And um, Ali Camellis is a setter out of Portland that transferred that was out with the injury last year. So um, she also has experience in a great conference. Luna Sujimoto from Ohio State, who was helping us last year. Um, again, she has the experience, and um, we have a few seniors back that are definitely, you know, we're looking and counting on to make an impact. And uh, Danny Geiger hasn't played in a few right. seasons, and she's healthy now and doing well. So it's, it'll really be an interesting time for UCI Volleyball just to see what we're capable of and who we are you know, as, a, as a program. Yeah, and you talk about some of those veterans, Victoria Dennis, Shelly Anderson among those as well. And then focusing on a couple of young players from last year, Adara Akpakpa 
and uh, Harley Kikioha. I mean, they were freshmen, but they made pretty big impacts in their first years here. Yeah, they made huge strides in the few months we had to train them, and they've worked very hard in the off season. So right. I'm just really looking forward to see their growth um, over this next their sophomore year. Um, Harley gar garnered all conference, you know, as a yeah. freshman. Uh, which was pretty impressive, and she's uh, working on her strength and her defensive uh, side of the game in the off season. So uh, that's really exciting. And Adara as well. She's they've just been great in the off season. So I'm really excited about their potential this year. Yeah, just watching Harley a little bit, she really does play with a lot of passion out mm -hmm. there and has fun with it, doesn't she? She's clearly got a lot of power too. Yeah, a little, little too yeah. much fun right. at times, <laughs> but um, you know, as long as she gets the kill, I'm willing to let her right. celebrate. Now for you. Uh, we talked about it going into your second season. Now you were coaching a JC before you got here. I mean, you see Irvine, you're no stranger here. You know, played here, of course. Uh, you're familiar with the Big West, but maybe for you specifically, what was the biggest transition going from the JC level to the D1 level? You know, there's so many differences between the JC um, and the Division One level. I was more of a professor and teacher there, right, um, right. and now my time's devoted to recruiting. And uh, honestly, it's a lot of fun. I rarely feel like I'm working um, to be back and represent the school I played for as a head coach. It's so rewarding, and um, I just have a lot of fun doing it. Ashley Hain going into her second season as head coach of the Anteaters, UC Irvine women's volleyball team. Things will get going in August, and certainly a tough non-conference slate to start out the year. But, Coach, good luck. Thanks for taking some time Thank with us. Thank you. See you next time, Anteater fans.